For many, betrayal could be a faith breaker. A lot of people could lose their faith in God simply be because of a betrayal of a dear friend or family member. But yet, King David, he didn't let betrayal uh, shake his faith in God. It actually made his faith stronger in God. And betrayal is probably one of the hardest things that anybody can go through in life. You know, it's one thing to be betrayed by an enemy. You expect that. But to be, be betrayed by one of your own family members and one of your own closest friends, I mean, that's, I mean, that's just a punch in the gut. You know, that's kicking a man when he's down. And I mean, in one part of the Psalms, David said that even though, even if my mother and father abandoned me, the Lord will take me up. You know, he realized that God could be dependent on even more so than one's parents. And out of anybody on the planet, you figured you, you could put your faith and your trust in your, pan, in your parents uh, above and beyond anybody else. After all, they, they gave you birth, they raised you, they provided for you and took care of you. And uh, so that's probably one of the most deepest betrayals that anyone could ever experience is, is the betrayal of a parent. And even in this situation, David said, if this happens, God will take me up. God will be my parent. But in Psalm 55, the backdrop of this is when David's own son, Absalom, uh, attempted a governmental coup to overthrow uh, the kingship and the throne of his father, David, and to take over the kingdom. And on top of that, one of David's top close, intimate friends and advisors, uh, Ahithophel, defected to the side of Absalom. And it says in the Stones edition of the Tanakh in Psalm 55, verse 13, For it is not my foe who reviles me, that I could endure. It is not my enemy who has magnified himself against me, that I could hide from him. But it is you, a man of my measure, my guide, my intimate friend. Together we took sweet counsel in the house of God. We would walk in company. And I just revealed to you the the literal meaning and the backdrop, the story behind this psalm. But this psalm also is a prophetic psalm. It is a prophetic song pointing to Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, and the betrayal of one of his disciples, uh, Judas. So in the case of David, his own son Absalom uh, and his one of his uh, uh, trusted advisors, Ahith Ahithophel, um, betrayed him. And prophetically, we see that Peter, which was probably as close to Yeshua as Absalom was to David, because Peter was one of the inner circle of disciples, the one of the ones that was most intimate. And he ended up betraying Messiah in the fact that he denied that he even knew him when he was questioned three times. And then Judas, uh, was another counselor, uh, you know, was a disciple, uh, would be likened unto Ahithophel, and uh, he was part of, you know, the, not the intimate inner circle, but, you know, he was one of the disciples and trusted advisors, and, um, you know, he betrayed, he was, uh, he betrayed the Messiah. So Judas betrayed the Messiah, and Ahithophel betrayed King David. And so this is where the the, the Psalms, the the Old Testament and the New Testament, uh, the past and and the prophetic future, kind of connects here. So we see the literal uh, meaning and interpretation of the Psalm, as well as the prophetic uh, uh, meaning of it that was fulfilled in the time of Yeshua the Messiah. But you know, getting to to the end of this of this thought, and and the reason why I wanted to bring this up. Verse 23 says, cast upon the Lord your burden, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the faltering of the righteous. And you, O God, will lower them into the well of destruction. Men of bloodshed and deceit shall not live out half their days. But as for me, I will trust in you. So even though that, 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 King David was betrayed, and Yeshua the Messiah was betrayed, and it was one of the most hurtful, deepest, cutting things that they could ever experience. Both of them uh, kept their faith and their trust in God. In, in David's instance, he said, cast upon the Lord your burden, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the faltering of the righteous, and you, O God, will lower them into the well of destruction. Men of bloodshed and deceit shall not live out half their days, but as for me, I will trust in you. So how did this end for David? Absalom 
was uh, was killed, and uh, you know he was able to take back David was able to take back the throne and the kingdom from Absalom, and all of the enemies and men that sided with Absalom were cut off; they were destroyed. Uh, so uh, you know they didn't succeed. And in Yeshua's instance, we see that uh, Peter repented and was forgiven after Messiah resurrected, and even on the cross. When Yeshua was dying, he looked over the people and said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And in the instance of Judas, we see that uh, he felt such guilt and remorse that uh, he gave back the money that he gained from the betrayal, and he went out and hung himself. And uh, so, you know, God takes care of his own. Even in the midst of betrayal, God will, will take care of you, and God will lift you up, and, and God will rescue you. It doesn't happen overnight. It, it just takes time. But ultimately, if you put your faith and your trust in God, even, even God can turn the tables on a betrayal and turn it into a blessing, and you will gain the victory uh, from that. Hey, thanks for listening. Go out there and have a great day. God bless. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that will let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom. Thanks for watching. Stay connected by subscribing to our other social media accounts and visiting our website at abrahamsdescendants.com.